Hey guys, my name is Matt and I'm co-owner of The Tackle Room. Stay tuned for another great how-to video. So today we're going to talk about how to put monofilament inside holocore braid. I'm using 100 pound high-vis mono and 130 pound braid. Now the first thing you want to do is find which needle fits the mono best. Um, I've already got the needle. This is a diamond splicing kit that I'm using here. Um, and you want to find a pretty tight fit. Um, most of the kits come with five or six needles inside of them and you just want to find the one that the mono fits the tightest in. Um, so run that mono in the needle as far as you can until it stops. And then it helps to take a lighter and just hit it real fast. And what that does, it just heats the mono up and causes it to stick inside the needle so the mono doesn't pull out. The next step is just to tap on the end of the braid a little bit to fluff up the point to expand the opening so you can get the needle started. Once you're centered well on the braid, it's best to take the braid side of your hand and shove onto the needle. Uh, I find this helps speed a little bit and also keeps everything centered so you don't pop the needle out of the braid. Once you get some bunch in here, it's good to go ahead and just suck that back so it doesn't slow the pushing process. You'll find after a little bit, you'll start getting a rhythm and you'll be able to speed up. I typically like to run the braid or run the mono inside the braid about nine feet. Uh, it's a good safe distance. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything pulling out. Uh, and it's a very strong connection once the mono's inside. It works like a Chinese handcuff. Uh, the tighter the mono pulls against the braid, the tighter the braid sucks around the mono. Once you've got the mono inside the braid, your nine feet, you can poke the needle outside of the braid until the mono appears. Grab the mono and give a good yank on the needle. And then all you have to do is just tuck that mono back inside until it feeds in there. The next step is hold this tight, suck the braid tight over the mono. Now at this point, you'll need to what we call serve this connection here just to keep this end from fraying and to keep the mono from shifting back and forth causing any slack. Uh, the best way to do this is with 30 or 50 pound floss and all you have to do there is take and just half hitch the floss over top of the braid right here. A couple other simple ways is some people also will just glue this connection right here too. Uh, this right here doesn't hold any strength. It's actually the braid that does all the work. All you're doing with the glue or with the with, uh, floss is just keeping this part from fraying. And that's all there is to splicing. <laughs> 